What is up guys, Johnny B here again today and we're going to be bringing you another video on the forest. Last week we talked about the whole build process that it took, you know, over five years. And in this video, I want to answer a question that I get asked very often, which is, do you even drive your car, Johnny? And the answer is yes. Yes, I do. I do drive it. It was my daily for a couple of years. And then after that, after we started going big power, we started kind of keeping it as like the race car and actually having another daily driver, but just because it wasn't as fuel efficient as it used to be when it was NA. Uh, but it's been auto crossing, it's been track racing, it's been burning out, you know, I've done some burnouts in it. Uh, it's been at a Hoonigan event, doing a little bit of drifting and sliding in front of a huge crowd. And, uh, you know, it's been to a couple shows here and there, our local car shows in the scene where people, you know, got to, got to see it, got to talk about it, you know, got to enjoy the car, seeing it in person. And, you know, the car gets driven quite a bit, not as much lately because of all the projects that you guys have seen me working on, but uh, it's still here nonetheless. are at a racetrack. This is Arizona Motorsports Park and today we're gonna be autocrossing. Alright guys we are now pre-registered. There's all the forms I had to fill out and obviously I had already pre-registered online so there's there's the car information. Now what we need to do is go to tech so they can check out the car make sure everything's you know working properly that way you know, there'll be no issues on the track. Hey good morning man. Good morning. So piece of cake so just basically stop on it from here hard as you can or fast as you can, see the cone laying down right in front of you on the left hand side, right through there. Once you're past that, let off, follow the track around nice and easy, okay. and there's cones that will guide you out at the end and 
she'll tell you pass or fail. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready. I was going to be the quietest. Yes. Can you open your door for me? Thank you. So you'll have, we'll put it right there and then you'll have it. Okay. okay. Awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm listening to the other cars and then when you win, I'm going, oh shit. You pass. No, no sweat. So now, let's just look ahead. We'll see where we go. Go around these two. Then there's the one lay down. So we're on over there and then across and then, and then back over and then you see the the one all the way down there, that's the one we're gonna make a we're gonna turn. Okay, and where we go. Okay. Okay, now look over to the right. Okay, bring it in. There you go. Okay, now look over to the left and find that slow one. There you go. Okay, now cross, back across, back across. There you go. Now we're gonna go all the way, we're gonna make a new turn here, look over to the left, so you see where we're gonna make the new turn. Look over to the left, you see that small, that straight away? Okay, there you go, good. Okay, now look over to the right. Look over to the right, there we go. Okay, okay, now we're gonna cross, back across, back across. There? Yep, that way. There you go.
is where we're gonna be doing our testing. It is a private road, it's just a big straightaway. It's barricaded on both sides and it has no cross streets. So let's go ahead and get started. but not bog at the same time. Uh, unfortunately, the car is somewhat stuck because right now I'm just running 91. I have a header and the, the OEM TRD cat back. So I don't have too many performance mods. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is check out the 60 to zero times. My brakes right now are completely stuck. tires that I have on here I bought just for fitment so they're just a regular street tire uh, when I first bought them I just wanted to know what size was needed so they are definitely up for an upgrade filled it up with E85 or E55 in this case to get it up to E46 by the time that we started doing the runs again. Uh, it wasn't extremely faster because obviously it's just we just changed fuel but we got it down to a 668 which was pretty impressive. It's almost half a second uh, just from a change of fuel. Yeah, alarm bus and I think it's time that I wake up Singing in the shower while my girl does her makeup Kiss on the cheek while I wish her a good day She handed me my iPod and said, damn, I love you, babe huh. Popped in my headphones and started my walk I would have went for a drive, but my whip's in the shop Look at the clock, quarter to eight Looks like I'm running late again Always trying my luck, but you gotta play to win I really need one, fighting these demons Be prepared, life changes like the seasons I adapt to rap schemes and flash things that I got from Music plus all the problems that cash brings. That's expected when you're trying to be great. You guys think it's fast? Huh? Yeah, you do got the turbo on it. Yeah. Yeah? You think so? I mean, but then again, you got the boxers. <laughs> the boxers what makes, yeah. makes it slow, huh? Yeah. I bet you this thing still gets beat by minivans, even with the turbo. <laughs> Honda Odyssey does. Yeah. Sure, the Odyssey is slow. Yeah, the Odysseys are quick. Does it look cool? Oh, does it look cool. fast or does it look slow? It looks like it's top out at 80. You guys recognize it? Yeah. Yeah? I know. You know where it's from? Yeah. Where is it from? Uh, from Japan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, you welcome? Yeah, for your tofu. You yeah, welcome? my car. Oh, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> thank I you, thank that. you. Oh, you love it? Yeah. Awesome. This is my favorite hoon spot. So, you guys asked for it. So, looks like I'm gonna abuse the FRS a little bit and wear out, you know, whatever's left of my tire tread. But it's all for the YouTube video, right? So, let me go ahead and show you guys that, and hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>
right, guys. First two sessions are done and the car has been handling amazing. This thing is taking corners like crazy. Um, I've been, you know, racing down the drag strip. It's a little bit difficult to keep up with the higher horsepower cars, but once we get into the corners, the car is just taking the corners and it's, I'm like right on the back of people's, you know, bumper basically because they're supposed to have, you know, more expensive cars, you know, like the Porsche 911. You, just, you probably saw that passed up. That thing was really slow. Obviously it has a lot to do with the driver, but the car itself was really, really powerful. He was just taking really bad lines. Um, passed up a uh, Mustang 5.0. That guy was really good. He was going really hard, but I was just a little bit quicker on the cornering, which was amazing, obviously. And then as soon as we got onto the drag uh, strip area, which is basically the straightaway, we were able to just, you know, fly right past them. He obviously let us wave by just so it's a safe pass. We don't want to be getting into any accidents. So the car has been driving really good. On the first um, session, I did notice that the car was sliding a little bit and it, and it felt kind of weird. So it turns out I wasn't using the full amount of the tire. I had 40 PSI in the tire. So I ended up uh, dropping it to 32 PSI. And for the second session, worked amazingly. The car feels like it's on rails. It kind of feels like when I got into a Miata one time and just the guy just went for it on autocross. That's how this car feels now. So it's pretty impressive. It's been doing really good, you know, for the way it's all set up now. And with the power that I'm running, I'm only running like 320 horses, 330 on APSI. So keeping it, you know, low boost, make it a little bit more reliable and just having fun at the track. So hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go do some more lab sessions.
Let him hear you. Let him hear you.